Welcome back, Beatbox fam. First off, I'd like to say thank you so much for supporting me with the tutorials. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say I really appreciate you. So let's get into it, man. This is the codfish throat bass, right? So first and foremost, what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to know the throat bass, which we're gonna go over here really quickly. So first, when you clear your throat, you're gonna go, um, um, ahem, ahem. So then you're gonna take that, the second part, that ahem, ahem part, and you're gonna extend it, right? You're gonna extend it, ahem. It's not gonna sound that clear. It's gonna probably sound really scratchy. You're gonna wanna try not to tense your neck too much because you can go like, Ahem, but it's like, that's that's not really what you're aiming for. You wanna send out the throat bass as though you're talking, you know, you wanna use your voice to procure it. You don't wanna tense your neck. If you find yourself tensing your neck, it's okay to tense it a little bit, but if you find yourself just like, it's only coming, the sound is only coming out of tension, then reevaluate how you're doing it because you want it to be as natural as possible. At first, you'll probably struggle for a little bit, but after a week or two of conditioning it, it'll probably be all right. And if it ever starts hurting, then you want to stop immediately. I can't stress that enough. If it's like little, you know, a little scratchy or something, I'd say it's okay to keep going. But if it, if you ever feel pain or like something that's more than just a little bit of general discomfort stop for the day and pick it up tomorrow. You always want to make sure to sip water, guys, so that your vocal cords can move fluidly while you're practicing throat bass. You can keep them hydrated because if you're if you're practicing this vibration while they're dehydrated, there's the possibility that you could really damage your, your vocal cords. I don't want that to like scare you, but just like be aware of it. It helps to warm up your voice beforehand. Don't wake up in the morning and just start going ba da da ba 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 because odds are you're going to shorten the length of time that you can do this technique like really well over the course of the day. Drink some water when you wake up, do a couple vocal exercises. You know, there's plenty of them on YouTube. And again, guys, when it starts to hurt, stop doing it for that day. Don't keep pushing through the pain because then your throat's gonna become inflamed and it's gonna be a longer time before you can even practice again, you know? So drink water, warm up, and then practice until, you know, practice a sufficient amount, but make sure not to practice when your throat hurts or when it becomes like really uncomfortable again a slight amount of discomfort is okay but if it's like really discomfortable or for a bit it hurts then stop stop and then just you know rinse and repeat do it the next day you know it'll probably start off you'll be able to go Ahem, for like two seconds and maybe by the end of the week you're able to do it for you know seven eight seconds or maybe you're able to do it for 20. I don't know. It depends on how much you practice and how strong you already have these muscles built up already. So the codfish bass, right? I'm going to call it the codfish bass, but basically what you're doing is you're pitching your throat bass so that you can tune your throat bass to hit certain notes, right? So when codfish is doing, you know, Boulevard of Broken Dreams, he's going like, mm -hmm. similarly to what was said earlier, you know, when you're practicing your ahem, ahem, so now you're going to add a note to it, right? So you're going to go like, uh -huh. and you're going to practice those individual notes and then moving between the notes individually before you go simply from switching from one note to the next, right? You want to practice each note individually because that's going to take time to build up those individual notes as well, right? So, um, day. Right? So you're going to go, ooh, ooh. So you want to pull from your diaphragm, guys. You know, it's going to allow your your voice to come through a lot more naturally and, you know, alleviate a lot of the strain that comes through here. So again, you know, practice the notes, you know, pull up the Boulevard of Broken Dreams song, practice each note. So when he goes like, ooh, and then, ooh, 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 ooh. And then combine those two, you know, work slowly, you know, if you work slowly and you, you know, you work day by day at it, it's going to come so much faster than, than you trying to just, oh, 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 oh. so go slowly, you know, go through each note. Oh, 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 oh. And then, you know, move through it in that kind of motion. You know, if you go through it in that motion, as compared to just, you know, trying to just straight imitate them, you're going to get a better sense of pulling from your diaphragm, you know, utilizing your diaphragm as support instead of just, you know, perhaps 
I'm not saying you're, you're automatically going to strain your neck in order to produce these notes, but it's possible. So you really want to have the, the understanding of I don't have tension in my neck and I'm pulling from my diaphragm so that I can produce these notes. And then I'm going to string those notes together. It's a lot easier said than done, guys, right? Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's, it's not easy. You know, I've been doing throat bass for six years. I'm not saying it takes six years. It depends on how much you practice, right? The more you practice, the faster you're going to get it. Maybe it'll take one year. Maybe it'll take six months. Maybe it'll take six years. You know, it just depends on how much you practice, you know, the techniques that you're doing again. You know, I wish someone had, you know, told me six years ago when I first started doing throat bass, utilize your diaphragm. I know it's not the most intuitive thing to do. And I'm sure there are also YouTube tutorials that really go in depth on how to go about utilizing your diaphragm. So yeah, guys, that's essentially the codfish bass, right? You're pitching the throat bass to make notes. Watch this tutorial again in order to learn the throat bass, practice techniques to, to really get down a solid fundamental throat bass. And once you have that segment, then that is the point in where you want to start pitching your throat bass to hit certain notes in a similar way that Codfish goes about doing his throat bass to produce, you know, the the really awesome If you have any questions, please reach out to me on Instagram. We can get in touch there. I'm going to be doing more of these tutorials that are more in-depth, more advanced techniques. Again, thank you so much, and I'll see y'all in the next video.